Will it be Hannah Gammon, Agnes Chu, Rue Baldry, Kwame McPherson, or Himali McInnes? Well, the overall winner of the 2023 Commonwealth Short Story Prize, drum roll please, is Kwame McPherson! Here's chair of the judges, Bilal Tanweer, telling him the good news earlier on. <laughs> Welcome back to Daytime Live. Yes, so the Commonwealth Short Story Prize is an annual award given by the Commonwealth Foundation for the best piece of unpublished short fiction from any of the 54 Commonwealth countries. And joining us today, you would have seen that announcement, is the first Jamaican writer, the very first one, <laughs> to have won this award, beating over 6,000 other entries with his story, Okoye. Please help me welcome the amazing Kwame McPherson. Welcome, Kwame, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so Kwame, um, congratulations, of course, on your yeah. amazing achievement. <clears throat> thank you. But what does this recognition mean for you and your writing career? Um, it's, well, what it means, I've been writing for years. I mean, uh, it's, 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 so writing is, a, is a, something that comes naturally to me. It would mean, I guess, more, more writing, more stuff that, you know, puts me on another level in regards to prestige, you know, it, 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 it opens more doors. Um, recently, I was, this week, I was at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs having a talk in terms of sharing the story. So those, those kind of opportunities open up, you know, aside from the reward, which I got. But, um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's going to be more opportunities in terms of and, and exposure. Yeah. Got you. Yeah, yeah. So, of course. Yeah. And you can't stop smiling. So. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think, you know, until, until this week, really, really. To tell you realize, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Choose, yeah. Choose the gun when that's when the announcement was made. That's when I was definitely really thinking, you know. So the title of your story, Okoye. So I yeah. know Okoye as an area in Florida. That's correct. So, yeah, so that kind of caught me. So yeah. could you tell just a quick summary of what the story is about? All right. So Okoye is a Cherokee Indian name, which means wild apricot. So I guess apricots around that time. But Okoye was an actual black town, which existed in the early 20th century. And as there's many black towns that existed at the time, which were raised to the ground by white supremacists, Okahi was one of those. And it's now an actual town. Mm -hmm. And so the story is based on an African Caribbean man or a Jamaican man who's driving through Florida and gets stopped by the police. Basic. And then everything else that happens after that is. After and, that. Yeah, yeah. So what inspired you to write that type of story? And also, what would you like your readers to get from it? Um, uh, African diaspora and story aren't told enough. And when I mean African diaspora, I mean stories right across the, the West, for example. So you, you have things that happen in the UK, things that, and I lived abroad for a while. So I've experienced various things and seen various things. So I, I feel that as a storyteller, I need to tell those stories and I just want to provoke thought, open up other people to understand what goes on which they had never heard of. Um, and, and that's the inspiration. And the story just came naturally. Because I would sit down and read something and I'd say, you know what, I freestyle it, yeah, and, and, and something comes love out it. at the end. So I'm inspired to write that way. Love it, yeah. love it, love it. I mean, your story celebrates various aspects of um, black culture. Yeah. Um, music, food, yeah. and a sense of community. That's right. But is this a common theme in your writing or did you choose to focus on it um, just for this story? Exactly. So for every competition I write differently. So, so for example, in the process I write, I'm writing thrillers, I'm writing romance. So it depends on what kind of competition I'm entering, then I would, I would draw on that. But I'm trying to focus on a lot of my writing, or a, lot of my, a lot of my writing now is based on black people mm -hmm. rather than, 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 like I said, other characters. So that's where a lot of those things came out, those elements came out in, in the story. And what I want the reader to take away is those, those same elements, because we do have similar stories across the diaspora, but different experiences, mm. you know? Mm. So Kwame, is it that you specialize in short story writing? I specialize in all type of writing. <laughs> For so, writing, not non-fiction, fiction, you name it, I write I'm poetry, that. poetry, everything. Because I'm thinking maybe there's an approach you have to take for short story that is maybe slightly different from the other types. Is that the case? Get to the point. You have to get to the point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Because Depending. So, for example, like a short story can have a number of words. So, yeah, flat fiction can be a thousand words or less. I'm trying to tell a story in a thousand words. Short stories can be 5,000 or less, or even mm. 10,000 words. And then you have novelists and then novels. So it's all dependent on what 
you want to say right, in the type right. of format that you want to tell it. Okay. So, and the word count. For so, so if it is you're going for like a 5,000 word count, yeah. what are some of the challenges you probably could have in that format? Saying too much. It, <laughs> it, it, yeah, you could have fluff, what they call fluff. So you need to cut down and get rid of the fluff and say what you need to say in, in, in less words. Less words. Yeah, yeah, get so. to the point. Get to the point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, get so, to so the point. Tell, tell, us, tell us what you're working on right, right now. Oh, oh yeah. gosh, man. So, so the story itself, I'm, 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 my intention is to make this, because a lot of people say they see it as a movie. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking to put it, push it out to pro pro producers, maybe probably in the West somewhere, and maybe, maybe in the Maybelline States, and see what can happen with it. But people have also been asking for a prequel and a sequel for the story. Mm -hmm. I'm intending to make it in, into a trilogy, which is different in terms of an actual book and in terms of a novel. But I'm also working, like I said, on a romance novel set in Jamaica. I'm working on a thriller set in Jamaica. Nice. I've, I've written Western, so I'm working on a Western series. So there's a lot of more writing. There's a lot yeah, of things in the pipeline yeah. that I'm writing. So yeah. well, I, I mean, never stop writing. Jamaica's making some serious steps in the film industry yeah. right now. Yes. So I mean, it's a good, it's a yeah. good time. Yes, it it's is. Do you have any um, reading suggestions for our viewers? Uh, uh, in terms of my work? <laughs> in terms of anywhere. Sure. Your work, <laughs> of your work, for sure. <laughs> uh, all right. So, so in terms of my work, uh, it can be found on Amazon and, and, and Lula.com, which is my main, my main platform that I use online. But for but reading so. As a writer, or anyone who wants to write, it's reading other people's work helps. So I've written Marlon James, Kai Miller, you know, what I mean, um, Lauren, Lauren Goodison. So, so you read across the board, and I've read Lee Child, um, James Patterson, Stephen King. So I try to read different voices and get different voices to shape my own voice. So that's that's one thing that I was, and I always read. I'm always reading, and I read everything because everywhere is a story. Everything's a story. That's a story. So there you go. So. You know, so, so that's what I would say. That's what I would say. Congratulations again. Thank you. And just talking to you, I'm excited about your work. Thank you. So I'm sure somebody else might want to learn more about you. Yep. Social media handles. How we follow. Social media handles. All right. So Facebook, Arthur Kwame McCrae. It's pretty simple, you know. Just the people Google me to find me anyway. Arthur Kwame McCrae on Facebook. Um, but for Instagram, it's Max Key, Max Key. Um, but they can still Google my name, Arthur Kwame McPherson. Um, LinkedIn, Arthur Kwame McPherson. TikTok, Kwame MA. Yeah, okay. and that's how people can find me at the moment. I'm working on a website, but those are the handles that I can get me on. Google him, you'll find Yeah, Google, Google him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, for me. Thank so you. happy. Thank you. Thank so you. happy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it is it, an honor because, you know, to, to, because Jamaicans aren't known for, we're known yes. for storytelling, yes, but in terms but of written storytelling to, at this level, it's not, it's not known. So for us to be winning in this kind of sphere is, is, an, is a, it's humbling. So, so now that it's sinking, any more competitions? Yeah, you're man, thinking I'm, of? I'm always writing, like I said, I always enter in competitions. I always, <laughs> I always, I always win everything, you know. Awesome. <laughs> Congratulations once again, yeah, Gwami. Thank you, thank you very On much. that note, right. Daytime Live will be right back. When we come back, we have vibes, so yeah. stay right there. Sukum. Stay right here, sir? Okay. Right here.